I'll do the main mission first. Building a castle? All right. At any rate, at any rate. Yeah, I've done this before. I even beat the Twilight mission before I did this one. So I think I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I've still got that thingy one as on as well. I think this I'm a dude. He's all right, but he's only good when you're in there. Since I've only I've mainly used the yokai one since the beginning of time, and the hammer dude's all right. Plus, he's a seven. The yokai's a six. Because if you get if I get my bar full, I can do it twice. Plus, I'm pretty sure the yokai does more damage anyway. Did he just guard break me from my attack? Because that's the only decent time when the... The hammer dude's pretty decent because he uses the aerial effects. If you're in... The yokai realm. <laughs> and I also think I could be wrong. If you're using If you're using the same because he's a red, if you're using the brew spirit I think it also in a way if you're using a red spirit the, the hammer dude's a must because I'm certain it also gives it the ability because it's the same spirit color it stuns enemies when you hit them with it it stuns them it keeps them in stun lock so you can like you've drained the stamina so you can constantly keep in and so obviously that's good for bosses unless I think it only works on certain bosses if it's a big boss it doesn't if it's a small boss it does Because with that yokai one, the yokai one's 100% better. But I'd say that's the only decent thing as well about that hammer, that hammer one, is that you can do that. And it gives it a lot... Well, I'd say the biggest advantage that the, the hammer dude's got is that 
it does a lot of stamina drain when you hit them. It does a very lot of stamina drain. It gives it. Like if you know for a fact that the hit's gonna drain the stamina so then you can be aggressive. But it's like with the yokai one, if you're going up against a human, it obviously does the grab. So then it's like at the same time you gain invincibility frames. She didn't delay it. She normally delays it. And plus, with the hammer, it doesn't auto track. So when you do it, it doesn't auto track. It only does it at the position that you're in. But with the yokai, it auto tracks. So when you do it in the move, it still hits them. So would you rather use something that's a guaranteed hit, or something you're not guaranteed to hit if they're not stunned? But it does do a lot of stamina drain. This isn't what you see. Plus, at the same time, I'm only used to, I'm just used to the yokai one because I've been using it since I'm starting the game. As soon as I, as soon as I unlocked it, I started using it.
I would have thought I would have got the swing like first before he did, but never mind. I need to get rid of the dog. It's like even with situations like that, I've got the yokai on. It gives me the, it gives me a better, it gives me a better opportunity to use it to gain the invincibility frames on the grab. That's another good thing. That's basically the best thing about that. The yokai ability. Well, the yokai's attack, that it grabs people. It actually grabs humans. But the only decent thing about that is it just it just does a lot of stun hit. A stun it does a lot of stun damage.
can't see shit. Can't see shit. Oop. She did. Where's this little cat? I can hear him. That's the other good advantage that you've got with the the hammer dude is when you're in the yokai realm it does the fire effect so if obviously if you're using another if you're using an elemental weapon it obviously it can confuse them fast obviously because they're constantly burning i say that's the other ad advantage But it obviously only works. It only works in thingy, yokai realm. I say that's the only advantage. Oh, so it does track, but it doesn't track that good stuff. It tracks, but it doesn't track that good. Oh, oh, 
careful. <laughs> well, yeah, you're certainly not shy, are you? But you know what? I like your style. He's definitely some. He's definitely. Hey, cheers for the follow, Judge. Judge, I'm saying that right. Appreciate the follow. Well, that definitely hurt when he hit me. Right, let's get rid of Mr. Fireball over here. She just automatically just appeared back up here. Yeah, I think... Said it perfectly, and good evening now, I was Neo 2 treating you. Yeah, just treating me alright. Well... I don't... I'm not really the type of... Well, I should say that hack and slash, hack and slash talk type games, Dark Souls. It's like my bread and butter. Like I can pick it up. Like I'll play it for like five, ten minutes, and it's like I've mastered it in a way. These are like my bread and butter. These are like my games. As obviously, uh, Devil May Cry is my like it's literally my all-time favorite game. So, so hacking slashes to me, it it just comes naturally. As you can see. Because I'm just testing out. Because I've not really used. Uh, the, the hammer dude. That one. I've not really used that. And I was thinking. Because back on. Back on the beta. When they first did. When they did. No I think it was the second one. Was it the first one or the second one? We uh, verse the snake as the boss. The the uh, the viper's sanctum or something. Where you fight the last boss at the end, and I noticed I picked up the hammer dude, and he seemed oh he seems pretty cool because it's like a like an aerial type effect, and obviously it stuns them. But then I've seen the yokai one where he does the grab. Where if you're going up against humans, he grabs them. I've used the yokai one <laughs> ever since I unlocked it. I did, it's just, I've used it ever since because it's like, it stuns them. Well, it doesn't stun them, stun them, it just, like, it just, it stops them in a way. And it's like, with that one, the biggest advantage you've got is the fact when you're in the yokai realm, it leaves the fire puddle, plus it does a lot of stun damage. But it's like, because <laughs> I've been using the yokai one for so long, it just doesn't feel right. In a way. Because ever since I unlocked it, it's, I've just been using it. Ever since I unlocked that one. Since I unlocked that, I've not stopped using it. Because it's just so good. I think, to be fair, I think I'm just going to put it back on. Because I could be wrong. 
Because since I'm using the... Is it the Phantom? Is it the Phantom? Phantom... Uh, yokai. Well, Spirit. I forgot what it's called. The brew, because it's it's red. It's same with the. I'm presuming. Actually, I'm actually gonna try it because I have pretty much got the same stuff on that one. Loving it myself. Plus, Souls-like games are just around amazing to play. Yep, they definitely are. Especially if you like a challenge. Because I'm pretty certain. I I could be wrong saying this. But I think if you if you put the yokai ability with the same like color spirit, it does an extra in effect. I think I could be wrong because I'm certain with. Plus, at the same time, I was just gonna parry that, but then I just realised I'm using. Uh, I'm using the brute, and I've not really. I've not really used the brute. I'm not used to the timing. That's the biggest disadvantage I've, I've got. See, I don't know the timing for it. Unless if you've got to use it as soon as the flash. As soon as the flash red. Yeah, I think it looks like it. It's gonna get me killed. Because there's no point in me trying to deflect it. It's, just, it's not going to happen because I'm not used to the timing with the brute. What an enemy. To... Yeah, there's no chance. She's got me with that three times. Bless her. She's still not grabbed me. What an enemy to try this on. She's constantly moving all the time. I think I'm just going to go back. There's no point in I am currently having trouble killing... I am currently having trouble killing Hayoshi. Hayoshi. Is that the DLC dude? Is that the last boss DLC? Well, the last level DLC. Is that him? Because I'm not... I'm not good with... I'm just going to change it, but I don't care. I don't, I'm not used to Phantom. Because ever since I just I've been using that as well because of the yokai recovery, it's it's a no-brainer. Plus I'm used to the I'm used to that. Last boss Oh, the last boss main game. I say the best thing if when you're fighting him The main thing you wanna do, you you just wanna counter poke him. Oh, so you haven't started the DLC yet, okay. Uh, yeah, because like I said, I'm not really good with names. I'm just good, I'm like good with pictures. Like, if you tell me a certain name of an enemy on this, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Show me a picture. Oh yeah, that idiot. I know what you mean. I know how you play. But yeah, the last boss. The last boss. You want to mainly want to counter poke him. Because he's... He mainly does... Oh no, because you're talking about the thingy one as well. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Because when you're actually fighting him on the last level, he goes through the phases. He goes through the spirit phases. He starts off with the phantom, then he changes to the brew, and then he changes to the purple. The thing that you want to do with the purple at the start, like, the main thing you want to do, you want to wait for him to do is... He does the jump up and then he smacks down. Because you can kind of you can kind of break it, well you can kind of burst it, or whatever. So that's like your opportunity to hit him in that phase. And then what you want to do with obviously it's, it's kind of the same with the brute. You want him to be over too aggressive, and then when he's doing his swings, you can dodge, you can mainly dodge them, and then it gives you the opportunity to hit him. And then with the phantom, it's pretty much the opposite. You've got to be aggressive. When he's in the phantom stage, well, form, you've got to be aggressive towards him. Because trust me, I've been fighting it. I've been fighting him for so long because I've, I've beat every single boss on the game without getting hit. And he was a complete nightmare. The main thing that always, always hit me is when he does his 
when he's in his final form when he's actually in his main form and then he does the smack down with the with the lightning because you can't block it if you block it you get hit it's same with the fire one if you block it you you, you get hit so it's like you've proper got to time it because it's like an instant hit and you've got to perfect time it like ba basically perfect frame it to obviously dodge it and it were a complete nightmare that's so much better i can use my actual stuff plus it depends on what weapon you're using as well i keep forgetting about that it depends on the weapon as well I've used them all. I've always I've used them all. There was Oh, so it's only level 35. That's what they've put it up to. Level 35. I wonder if I've unlocked the thingy as well cuz since I'm on new game plus plus I don't I've not unlocked any dojos yet. So I'm I'm presuming it's going to work like the first one you need to get to a certain point to unlock them. So it's only level 35 that's the highest. So I might, I might as well do that then. I might as well just get them all to level 35. And plus this thing is good as well. When you beat the last boss, his soul is pretty good. Spe when you go up against other bosses. Especially if you go up against big bosses that don't, like, like barely move. It absolutely destroys them in a way. Okay, yeah, I say that's the only thing I could really suggest is when you're fighting the last boss, when he's in his first phase in the Phantom. Well, yeah, I should just say that when. Is in the blue form. You want to wait for him to do the the basically when he's in that first phase, you just want to you want to counter poke him. So when he's doing moves, you just you like you're tapping him and stuff. And I've I've constantly got greet on the screen. And then when same again when he's in brute form, you want to wait for him to do the counter so you can counter burst him. And then it's like. When he's in the purple, you want to be the opposite, you want to be aggressive, because he's slow, in a, in a way. And then when... When he's in his final form... It's just same again, you just gotta... You gotta, like, counter poke him. And plus, it, like, it, it really... It does depend on what weapon you're using, though. Because that's why it's good with the uh, to have the yokai ability because by well, the yokai attack because of that it's a good combo extender so when you've done your four hits or whatever you're using you can do that so you do a little bit more damage it's just like a like, like a combo ender oh this dude he's got a scroll let's kill him or kill her Scroll of the demon. Sweet. There's another scroll. Because I say the other thing as well. He does. There's an attack that he does. He goes like he goes one, two, three, and then he spins and then he chops down. That's as soon as you've like you've dashed the first swing, you can pretty much stay behind him and just constantly keep hitting him. And it's kind of the same because when he always goes into his final form, he always, 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 always does the ice attack first where he slams down and then he does the 
the three ice puddles. Pretty much as soon as he does that, he does that. You want to stay close to him because he he can't. He recovers slowly for, from doing it, so it gives you the opportunity to obviously swing at him. That was completely fair. I ain't playing a fighting game. It crossed me up. I could kind of show you, because there's even on, there's a scroll, there's a scroll that I found and he's, he's actually the, he's the enemy of it, so I think it's the first one I've got, it was actually the first ever scroll that I got, I'm pretty sure he was on it, he was the boss of the scroll. Well, and plus at the same time, it's different though, because when you fight him, if you fight him on different levels, it doesn't go through the forms. He's automatically at his, he's, at his, he's automatically at his true form. So he doesn't do through the, the three phases. Because that's why it were a complete nightmare trying to beat him without getting hit. Because I still, I actually need to do it for DLCs as well. Which might take some time for me to get in since I'm doing everything. Because I know they've added a new one. I noticed that they, they were a new one. Because I'm presuming that's the last day that I don't know it's somewhere as well. They're the new enemies, I think. And I think that might be it. Yeah. So it's it's pretty much just the same. Beat beat the type. Oh shit! I shouldn't be showing. <laughs> I just realised. <laughs> Don't pay attention to the name. I was just about to say who it is, but yeah, blah blah. Yeah. Don't care. Don't 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 look at that. I just realised, don't look at that. Because that's it, right there. We're a complete set of 15 plus divine equipment. That's a trophy from the first one, for when they brought out the first DLC. Same again, beat, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Beat him so many times. Oh, what's, oh, oh no. Oh, he's get kills with the staff. I forgot about that. Get kills with the staff. I need to get human kills. With the staff. <sighs> but he's... It's like... Yeah, because you've got to... With the last... you just got to take your time with him. You just gotta kind of poke him. You gotta tap him. Wait for your opportunity to swing. Same with these assholes. Trying to eat your face. To stop you from doing all this shit. That's why it's always best if you're using sword. Christian, do you know how to get the demon picture scroll? I only I have only seen them drop from revenants so far. They do drop from enemies because I've got quite a few. Because <laughs> I thought because at the bottom I thought oh that's who that's basically who drops it but it's not. That's who's on the mission. Because I did get one from beating that Revenant. But I think I could be wrong. I think the only way you can get them besides fighting a Revenant 
is from because I've not played through wait yeah I did I think it's just random I could be wrong I think it's just random because when I did the DLC because that was the first scroll I got mid attack that that's just if it's just no fucking brainer that's a mid attack damage guard consumption and then increased damage when i wounded enemies when they've got no stamina i think it's just random but when you fight when you're on obviously since i'm on way of the demon because i think the only when people have got them when you've obviously seen someone a revenant that's got it they've died against the red glowing enemies i think that's the way it works i could be totally wrong but because i have noticed since i have been playing new game plus well where the demon i have seen them drop drop regularly because obviously because is there is the red enemies because i think they're the main enemies that drop it so if you see a revenant that's got it they've died to an enemy who's got the red aura but it's 9 out of 10. I do think the random. It's just a random drop. But if you go up against the red auras, it's like a guaranteed... Like, it's not like a guaranteed drop, but it's more of a... It's going to be more of a drop from them because they're harder or whatever. So I don't think... I don't think bosses drop them. I don't know, though. I could be wrong. I've not seen... I've not versed a boss yet and they've dropped one. God. Oh god! Whoa. That's why that attack's so good! Man! Look at my Oh you cheating bitch! Anything you good for? Cheating! I get oh, oh shit, I'm dead. Oh. Don't you dare. No, don't. I wanted to kick him. Don't do that shit. I need to heal because if he gets me a good heal, I'm dead. You growl. I don't think I've just realized I don't think you can counter you can't counter break that. I'm saying counter break thinking I'm playing Killer Instinct, oh my god. Come on. Oh you can. Good god it's close. You saucy little bitch. Come here. As soon as I get you now, mate, you're dead. Never mind. Very nice. Also, as well, when you get a boss, when you've got this stamina down and this stunned. If you're using sword, you can get you can get two of them off. 
you can do that twice and then you can do the triangle bang do the grab whatever or to be fair if you stun them and if you've got the right build you could do that because it that does a lot of damage especially if you've got a, an attack from behind build kind of like mine because i only use quick draws because i've got quick draw damage on all my stuff and my sword is mainly for that anyway But yeah, I've got uh, I could like I said, I could be wrong with the scrolls. I think that's what mainly drops them. Or like I said, I think it's just random. Cause I know for a fact I did get a scroll when I did when I was on New Game Plus playing the DLC. Cause I know for a fact I got one off an enemy. 